Okay, so I have a weird backstory for these vlogs. Just walk with me here. I took all of this footage over three years ago, okay? <laughs> 2021 was an intense year of my life. I graduated from college and then me and my partner at the time traveled up and down the UK together. At that time, this channel wasn't super active, which welcome, by the way, this is my little travel channel. I also post about physical media here. But at that time, it wasn't super active. Also, I was traveling. So like I wasn't super on top of editing all this stuff and then <gasps> We broke up and did I want to sit and edit footage for hours that had uh, my ex all over it? No, didn't want to do that couldn't do that for a long time It was it was distressing and felt bad I kept all of this footage on drives for years and there were so many times that I almost deleted it and I'm here today to tell you I'm so thankful that I didn't these are such beautiful memories and now that I have successfully edited around said person who I hold no ill will towards, mind you, I just don't want them in my current videos. I've happily moved on. Okay, that chapter is closed. And now that I've put this footage together and it's really just me and all of the scenery and everything, I get to preserve these wonderful memories and finally share them with you. So let's talk about Edinburgh. Actually, let me give you a break from listening to me drone on and on and let's just go to Edinburgh. Hello, I'm back and I bet you're wondering, where did I go? What were those wonderful locations in this city? Well, first of all, love the city. Okay, fell in love with it on our very first tour when we were just like walking around. I showed you a lot of footage of Calton Hill, which became one of our favorite places on that trip. We actually went back for a picnic on the last day. You get so many views of so many different angles of the city. It really is wonderful. Probably to go like maybe on your first day, just so you can kind of get your bearings. You can see so many of the major landmarks and major buildings and you can go, oh, I would like to go see that one. Also on the first full day of our trip there, we had a tour with this wonderful man named Robert. Now I'm gonna put as much of his information as I can find on the screen, but actually I, I'm pretty sure that everything is linked to his Instagram. So it shouldn't be too hard. But when we met Robert three years ago, his operation was so much smaller. He had, he still had another like part-time job that was not related to tourism. Now I'm pretty sure that he takes people on like these wonderful excursions. Like he does so much cool stuff with people. 
definitely check him out. Like he is the person to go to if you're visiting Edinburgh. I can't remember if he was born there, but he has lived there for many, many years. He loves his city. He speaks about it so passionately. We had so much fun with him. Like even after our tour, we met up with him another night, just to, like get drinks and we met some of his friends. I don't know if he still does stuff like that. He might be too busy, but we caught him at a really excellent time when he was like first building his business, you know? So I can't recommend him enough. I don't know if he still offers this tour. I have not checked on like Airbnb experiences, but we went on his Harry Potter, Haggis, and Sunset tour. Now, do we support JK Rowling on this channel? No. Supporting Robert and his tour, none of that money goes to her, okay? And we still got to enjoy kind of like the history of the franchise and where she got a lot of her inspirations. Because if you didn't know, she wrote a lot of that series in Edinburgh. So for instance, we went to the graveyard where she was inspired for some of the characters' names in the books. That was really wonderful. Obviously, if you know me, I'm a horror girly. I love all the cemetery stuff. The street that inspired Diagon Alley is also in Edinburgh and it was really cool. There is a Harry Potter themed shop there and if you go upstairs, there's like a little photo up kind of opportunity. We were supposed to try Haggis, but I think it just was the season that we were there. The restaurants that normally serviced his tour, I guess they weren't open or something. So we didn't try haggis and honestly, I'm not too pressed about it. That's okay. But we did finish the tour off with this wonderful hike up to, I th what is it called? Arthur's seat? I should know this. I didn't take notes. I'm sorry. But Arthur's seat was awesome awesome. Again, you just get views of the entire city and you're even higher up than Calton Hill. So yes, the sunset was amazing. We ended up doing that hike at the end of our trip as well. We just kind of like wanted to do a different route of that little mountain. I do have more fun things to share about the city of Edinburgh, but we did do a full day Glasgow excursion. We decided to do this because it was like one of the top recommended things to do on Airbnb experiences was to go to Glenfinnan, aka the Devil's Pulpit. This was so beyond worth it taking the train out of Edinburgh bright and early in the morning, but enough yapping. I'll do that in a minute. Let me take you there.
Was the Devil's Pulpit not a vibe? I, listen, it was three years ago before I realized I could shoot videos in 4K on my phone. So the video footage is like not super high quality. I do regret that. I also wish that I brought my camera, like my actual, like this camera, like a good camera to take pictures on because all the pictures kind of ended up being pretty duty. The lighting down there just is really bad. So, you know, no surprise. I guess I'll just have to go back. I will have to look in my Airbnb receipts. Like I'm gonna have to go years back and try to find this guy's information but he was a wonderful guide. He picks you up, I forget where, but in downtown Glasgow, and then he drives you out there, and it's a really nice drive. Like, oh, the Scottish countryside is just amazing. Then you hike down, of course, and the water is freezing, but it was so beautiful down there. Didn't even care. There are a lot of amazing photo ops, but again, don't take the pictures on your iPhone. They come out looking like doo-doo. Then we kind of just wandered around Glasgow a little bit, because, you know, we just graduated college. We were a little broke, you know, and we, like, we didn't try any good restaurants or anything. Thing. But wandering around was fun. The cemetery there was absolutely the highlight. I didn't have a great time in the city itself just because like, you know, for one thing, we're poor. Like we weren't, we were just kind of wandering around. But for another, it also just was like really, really hot that day. So I do wish that we got to do more, but you know, you, you gotta, you gotta know when to rest, when to just chill out when you're traveling because it is very easy to just like burn yourself out. So I'm really glad that we took some time to just like chill out in the cemetery, all the beautiful headstones and well, and not even headstones. Like they're just full on statues. And then of course we went into the cathedral as well and just was like equally as beautiful. There are uh, tombs down there or crypts. Is that the right word? Whatever. You can you can pay a little extra and like go down there. Would recommend yet again for my spooky babes, but it's definitely a city that I need to go back to. One of my best friend's sisters actually lives there. So I could see myself having that opportunity in the next few years. We'll see. But that's all I have for you in Glasgow. Let me now take you back to our grand museum day. Camera Obscura was pretty crazy. So buckle up and I will tell you about it after this. Camera Obscura was obviously really fun and I don't know how the crowds are now because this was 2021. So there were a lot more COVID protocols in place, which I miss those days. I miss being a tourist when there was hardly anybody there and like everyone's wearing masks. Everyone is just staying the fuck away from me. Everything is just a touch too crowded now for my liking. So we were really lucky in that regard. But we also went to the National Museum of Scotland and this was incredible. I don't know 
if it's still there, you would have to look this up, but I'm sure that they have other amazing exhibits. But the Galloway hoard was very, very interesting. These pieces were discovered just in 2014. Well, I guess now that's like a decade ago. And they date all the way back to 8,900. If you don't know what a Viking hoard is, it's basically just like their treasure that they would, you know, keep in a secure place. Like oftentimes they would bury it and stuff. It's from the Vikings, man. And they have that stuff in Scotland. It was so cool. All the pieces were very, very small and there wasn't very much. Like we were a little bit let down because the production of it was so crazy. We're like, oh my God, we're gonna see all this treasure. And it was like, you know, just like a few little pieces. But now that I'm a little bit older, I feel like I have more of an appreciation for it. Back then when I was only 21, like I, I, I don't feel like I appreciated it enough, but I am glad that I got footage of it and I can kind of gush over it now. I saw a real life Viking horde, you guys. But my last pieces of advice for Edinburgh, another really, really fun Airbnb experience thing that we did was doing, I think it was a, a whiskey tasting, but it was underground. We did an underground alcohol tasting or it was a wine tasting, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that we weren't allowed to record videos down there. Like they only set us up to be like, okay, now it's picture time. You can take a picture in this chair. And so we did, like, I don't think that we were allowed to really use our phones other than that. So that's a really fun thing. Definitely look that up if you are heading over to Edinburgh. Just a really fun, like relatively cheap kind of cultural thing that you can do. And we also met some guys there, just some British guys that were on holiday from school. We ended up grabbing a drink with them afterwards. And uh, I don't remember their names now, but really nice guys. They paid for our beer. This is editing Kylie. I'm just popping on here because I completely forgot to tell you guys about the haunted vault tour that we did. We were not allowed to take videos down in the haunted vaults, but I took some pretty killer pictures. I would highly recommend this, but not if you are claustrophobic. This is considered to be like one of the most haunted locations in Edinburgh. And if you're a little bit skittish or claustrophobic, it might be kind of tough. I'm a little claustrophobic myself and I was okay, but after being down there for like 30 minutes or however long it was, it was starting to get on my nerves. Also, I've heard that the castle in Edinburgh is wonderful. I believe that it was shut down at the time that we visited due to COVID protocols, but that's going to be first on my list the next time that I get to go to that wonderful city. I have heard nothing but wonderful things about the tours there, and I think they even have dungeons there as well, so that's probably a great activity if you're a fellow spooky girl. Okay, I think that was everything I forgot. Back to the video. Edinburgh is a lovely city. If you get a chance to go, then absolutely take it. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you should go to Edinburgh in Scotland. Such rich history and amazing architecture. It just feels like you're living in like this little dark academia dream. But that is gonna do it. If you enjoyed this travel vlog, I have many others that came out this year and they are more recent, more relevant, okay? I stayed on top of things this past trip. I went to the UK again. I went to Italy. I went to Costa Rica. You can check all that out. Or if you're into physical media or horror, um, that's why you're in hell, by the way. I don't know if I formally introduced myself. I'm also Haunted Hippie. That's my horror channel. But if you're not interested in that, that's okay. You can also find my social media linked down below. Everything you need is there. I also love my patrons. Huge thank you to all the names scrolling on screen that support all of this content. More than anything though, I just hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye.